after the post-match conference. And uh, technically, this is also going to be uh, the coach's uh, farewell uh, media conference and uh, the committee as uh, well as... Uh, and we do, I can see Rex Clementine raising his hand. You can go ahead and start your questioning. Yes, Rex. How's it, Mickey? Hey, Rex, how are you? Uh, Mickey, we don't uh, see very often that, uh, you know, people uh, telling you what to do. Today, it seems that the doctor had to come and pull you out uh, when you're going towards the spectators. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. No, that the guys had a banner and they were and they were chanting down there. I, I just had to get some hand sanitizer from the dock, but I, I couldn't I couldn't leave without saying thank you to the wonderful fans that uh, that we have. And Andrew Fidet, you can ask. Hi, Mickey. Hey. Um, hey, Andrew. Congratulations on your on uh, on the the victory to to, to finish off. Um, how important Thank was it you. to you to finish on a on a high note like this? Oh, it was massively important. You know, it's been it's it's been a wonderful, wonderful journey. I've I've loved every minute of it, and I, I sort of get quite emotional about it because, um, you know, it, it's been it's been a tough two years. Um, but I, I know that I leave with uh, the team and every everybody in a, in far better shape than when I got here. So it's been tough but incredibly rewarding and I've loved every minute of being uh, of living in Sri Lanka. Rex, you can ask another question. Mickey, during these uh, two years you've uh, shaped the careers of so many young players. Uh, we've had Patumni Sanka, we had Thais Tasaranka, Mamindu Asaranka, uh, quite a few of them uh, have come and uh, done well and uh, looking very good prospects for Sri Lanka moving forward. Yeah. If you could just uh, speak a few words on uh, some of these young players, how you were uh, able to sort of mould them. Oh, look, there's, 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 there's so much talent. The, these young players are, are, are going to be incredible cricketers for, for Sri Lanka, you know, and, and we mustn't forget, uh, you know, the, 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 some of the senior players. I mean, Dimuth Karuna Ratna has been outstanding in test cricket over the last, over the last while, so, so certainly since I've been here. But I really enjoy building teams and seeing some of these young players come out and have the, have the freedom to go and express themselves and, 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 and play to their talents has been has been so rewarding. Um, as I say, first of all, identifying these young guys um, with the selection panel, and then being being able to give these guys an opportunity has been so rewarding. And when you watch them play and you see them having good performances, there's nothing better for a coach, you know. So I've been incredibly blessed. Um, but I know that these young guys, if if they backed and if they given the confidence. And if they're given the consistency in terms of selection, we'll give a lot of good performances down the line for Sri Lankan cricket going forward. Next question is uh, Champika, and after that, is Tel. Champika can ask, and after that, is uh, Hi, Mickey. Uh, hi, Champika. Uh, you just said, you know, you had a, uh, you know, it was a difficult uh, uh, two years uh, given, the, given the current situation in the world. Uh, what is what was your best memory of uh, Sri Lanka cricket uh, during the last uh, two years, uh, Mickey? Oh, look, the, the best memory for me has got to be seeing players develop. You know, seeing players have have success. Watching Dimuth Karuna Ratna go to number seven in the world, you know, and and get and and become a prolific Test match cricketer. Watching our young players develop. Watching our white ball team transition from from a team of young dynamic players watching guys like Winindu Hasaranga, uh, Cherith, Patum, uh, Danajaya De Silva. Um, you know, th there's there's so many players I can mention. And, and, and I think the players ha have, have improved so much over the last while just with some some backing and just with some confidence, you know, and and the, the talents there that the, these guys just need to be backed. And you know, if I go back two years, it's it was tough because of the of the challenges in the world. You know, I haven't been back to Australia since I started with Sri Lanka. I haven't I haven't seen my daughters since November 2019. Um, but that was part of the journey, and 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 that and that is will forever be my bond with with, with Sri Lanka. And then helping the players through this time, it's been tough. Bubbles, 
And, you know, we've gone from bubble to bubble to bubble, and that plays on your mind so much. And just to see the maturity of these players and just to see how they've handled themselves, just to see that how they've bought into everything that I've wanted them to to buy into has been has been so rewarding. And, again, I leave with so many, so many fond memories. I tell you can ask. Esther, you can ask. Andrew, go ahead, please. Andrew, feed it. Yeah, hi. Uh, um, Nikki, we can just, if we could just talk about this match a little bit. Obviously, it went, you know, uh, it kind of went back and forth a little while. Um, what do you think uh, were the performances or the, or the periods in which, you know, Sri Lanka really kind of imposed themselves and, and managed to turn it around? Well, 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 you're right. Yeah, the, the game did seesaw, and after day one, I thought we were in prime position, and then, and then, you know, they they knocked us over the next day, and then they themselves had had a really good partnership. We did know though that wickets fell in clumps. Yeah, it was tough to start. Once you got in, it became it became a lot easier to bat. So I, I think Ramesh Mendes' spell certainly in the first innings brought us back into the game, and a, a lead of forty was was not insurmountable because it looked at. Uh, it looked to be a lot more than that. And then Dunajaya De Silva's innings was simply outstanding. On on a pitch like this, um, the ease with which he played was uh, was incredible. And, and it just shows how talented he is. That, for me, was the, the defining moment. Because we knew that once we got a lead of 250, our spinners would do the job for us. So that innings of Dunajaya De Silva's was was paramount. And, it, and he couldn't have played it without Lasseth, uh, Brian Laura in Boldenia at the other end. So it was, uh, it, it was a fantastic partnership. But the standout for me, Ramesh Mendes in the first innings, um, making sure that their lead wasn't too big. And then the innings of Dana J. De Silva just put us in the prime seat. Champi, do you want to ask a question? I saw you are raising your hand. Uh, Andrew... Yeah, yes, go ahead. Uh, just um, just picking up on on Ramesh Mendis. Um, obviously, he came to the team with more of a, a a batting kind of a better batting record than a bowling record from uh, from uh, eighteen crickets and, and first class cricket. But now he's got you know seventeen wickets in the series, twenty six wickets in in four matches. Um, how do you see his development? Did you expect kind of him to have this kind of impact this uh, with the ball this early on? Uh, yeah, look, look. I, the one thing he does do, Andrew, is he spins the ball. He spins the ball really big. So we've just had to work on more on him being more and more consistent with his with his lines, with his lengths, the attacking lines that he that he bowls. So 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 that's kind of what we've worked on. But I was actually sitting talking to Grant today, and we we, we were just watching the guys out in the field, and we said, which player out there has has really made an impression on you? And and for both of us, Ramesh Mendes, because Ramesh Mendes has toured with us almost since oh, I since I started over two well, years. He's you. he's toured with us, and every tour he hasn't played many games at the start, but every tour he'd be the guy that was training the hardest. He always wanted more and more throwdowns. He always wanted to bowl. He was always working on his fielding, and I just think he's getting his just rewards now, Andrew. So I couldn't be more and more happier for him. He's a, he's, he's an attacking cricketer. And he's certainly going to be an asset down the line for Sri Lanka. Next question, who's going to ask? Uh, Andrew, if you do have questions, you can go ahead. Yeah. Yes, uh, go sure. Ahead. sure. Um, what, what are you kind of, uh, who else have you kind of seen, maybe apart from the players that we've mentioned, um, that, that you've seen during your time that you're kind of, uh, you're kind of expecting something from in the time to come. I know that you've traveled, you've had a lot of reserve players over the last year and a half. Uh, um, who kind of, you know, hasn't maybe quite made it at the, at the top level, you think are, are players some to watch out for? Look, I, I think I think there's a few. Uh, and, and the one thing we've tried to do, uh, Andrew, is, is, try and, is try and create depth in, in every department. So, We've travelled with, with with quite a few quick bowlers at times, um, and it's you know principally because we we can't get net bowlers, so we've travelled with a big squad. So we've worked on some young bowlers. This um, 
this this Ch Chamika that that's I call him Chamika Junior Chamika Gunasakara I think um, he's he, he's he's really impressed me he's come in here he's been fantastic so him and Dilshan uh, Madashenko who bowls left arm two two really good young young quicks in the in the wings um, you know the, the the spinners that we've had the, there's three played this game we've got Sandy Can and then in in uh, white ball cricket. I mean, Wanindu Hasaranga and Mahesh Tikshana. Seeing those guys come through has been has been incredibly, incredibly rewarding. And then the most important part for me was that when when I came in was apart from the usual standout guys, you know, the the senior guys, Angelo, uh, Dumuth, Chandy, to to a point, um, we 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 battled to find some young batters, and 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 that that was for me was the biggest. Um, the, the biggest in, during lockdown was was trying to trying to identify some young batsmen that we could we could bring into our setup, and then to to eventually fund um, Patum Nasanka and Charith Asalanka um, is 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 amazing. And I look at our batting lineup now in 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 both forms, whether that be white ball or or red ball. We are we've created depth there, so. The team is in such a such good shape now. Um, you know, whether it's white ball and you have the likes of Ivishkas and, you know, Danushka will be back, Dick Wellers, um, Kusul Mendes we haven't even mentioned. You know, there's there's suddenly a lot of fight for places that there wasn't uh, two years ago. And and and, and I, I guess that's what I'm going to hang my hat on is the fact that we've created depth now in every department. Estelle, you can ask a question. After that, Rex. Yeah. 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 Um... Yeah, I just want to ask you about Dananji De Silva. Um, he missed out on the World Cup, obviously, uh, on some game time. Coming into this series, what kind of conversations did the leadership group kind of have with him? Because uh, he'd been a part of all three formats re quite regularly and then missed out. Um, coming And he's done so well during this series. What kind of conversations did you guys have with him? Uh Estelle, that, that, that's a really good question. Uh, those conversations with me and Dunajaya started at the 2020 World Cup. Um, you know, it, 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 it was clear that with, with Charith coming through, with, with Patum going to the top of the order, um, that, that, that Vishka playing quite nicely and sliding down to number four, we were kind of being squeezed out of positions for Dunajaya in, in, uh, only in 2020 cricket. Dunajaya remains... Um, a, a key part of the team in in 50 over and in Test cricket, but but 2020 cricket is is the one that we've tried to challenge Dunajay. We've tried to we've tried to work on him expanding his game a bit. So those conversations started during the 2020 uh, World Cup when it was clear that he wasn't going to get too much game time. We we started prepping, we started training, we started getting his mind ready for this Test series. Um, and and you know it, it it was a tough time for him because he had gone there full of expectation and and then and then not to play was 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 disappointing for him. But he took it on board and he worked tirelessly at the world uh, at the the 2020 World Cup to make himself ready for this Test series. And the innings he played, um, I, I said earlier in the press conference, the innings he played here is is one of the better innings in terms of pressure of match situation. And in terms of pitch condition that I've seen, it, it was it was quite remarkable, and and that's testimony to the amount of work he's put in, but also also testimony to his talents and what a what a good and wonderful player he is. Rex, you can ask your question. Vicky, you spoke about uh, guys like uh, Danushka Gunatilaka and uh, Kusal Mendis. They'll be back. Uh, for the LPL uh, shortly, uh, would just like to ask, you know, I mean, uh, what kind of advice would you sort of uh, give uh, these players? Oh, look, it, it's kind of the advice, Rex, that that that, that we've been we, we've been trying to give our guys all the time. You know, I, I find, I, and I, I think I said it at at some point, and I think the Indian tour it might have been. You know, I find social media incredibly distracting for the guys. Um, there's there's a there, there's a really passionate fan base here that that. You know where, where the emotions run high. It's it's you know it, it's very much like like it was in Pakistan and in India and, and places like that where when you're riding the crest of the wave and and performing well, you you build as a as a king and then and then when it doesn't go that well for you, everybody's on your back. So yeah, I, I, we we've tried to create a culture within our team where behavior expectations are 
are, are, are controlled and, and people understand what the expectation is to be a Sri Lankan cricketer, particularly with our young players. We've tried to educate them in, the, in that regard. And the quality of guys that sit in that Sri Lankan dressing room is, and you know, I, I'm going to get really emotional tonight when, when, we, when we eventually say farewell, because the, the characters that are in that dressing room are, are remarkable. They are really a wonderful bunch of bunch of players and um, and bunch of people first and foremost. So uh, I just want them just to just to stay out of trouble, stay on the stay on the straight and narrow because a lot of them have very big futures. Any more questions for Mickey? No more. So time... maybe, maybe Prasanna, sorry if 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 I can just to just finish off by thanking every every one of the media, definitely, um, definitely. you know, for the support that 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 I've had over the last two years, and it's it's been it's been a tough road. It's been it's been there's been a lot of of speed bumps, if you like. Um, we've tried to recreate a one a white ball team. Um, we've we've tried to consolidate a test team and. The support uh, from a lot of uh, a lot of you has been unwavering, and I, I really thank you for that. And uh, as I say, this island is very special to me, and I'll be back pretty soon. Thank you, Mickey. I think also uh, we I do we do understand you cooperated well with the media as well as you really cooperated very well with Sri Lanka Cricket's media unit, and you have been always uh, available whenever I uh, asked you for a, a press conference or interview opportunity. And uh, thank you very much for your excellent support. And also, we do believe, and also we are happy that you are leaving with a very happy, a very high note. That's number one. Yeah, and, thank uh, you. And also, the very best thank for you. your future. Thank you. And all the best. Thanks, everybody. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Thanks, Mickey.